Welcome back to Week in Esports. I'm Lubu, and this is your Week in Esports. Rainbow Six Siege is the big news. We saw an amazing tournament play out over the weekend. Uh, the Season 2 finals were just spectacular. EG managed to blow uh, the 2-0 lead in, in, in a style that we normally reserve for the Falcons at the Super Bowl and lose to Penta Esports, who deservedly kicked the living dog shit out of them in those next three sets. Uh, but it was just an amazing, amazing tournament to watch. Ubisoft really cranked up the production values, which was fantastic. And they've promised following the tournament that they're going to be reworking the Observer tool and they're going to be continuing to add operators to Rainbow Six. They're not going to be making a Rainbow Six Siege 2. They're just going to keep the one and they're going to add 100 operators to it, uh, which is a lot of people to do a surgery. But, you know, operation joke, that's what I'm here for. Moving on to League of Legends. We've got League of Legends news. Team Liquid still in fourth. Good lord. How do you how do you guys maintain this fourth place dominance? How are you the most dominant fourth place team in the history of sports? Uh, there is no team in sports history who has been fourth place more than Team Liquid. It is mind-boggling. I do not know how you do it every year. If you're paying people off with Steve's big Team Liquid money, whatever. It's amazing. TSM's at the bottom-ish. Ish. I'm going to say ish. They're not at the bottom. But they are at the bottom ish, uh, and that's some ish. But we've got an Echo Fox at the top. Echo Fox is the Rick Fox dream project, and no one thought coming out of last season where Echo Fox was getting regulated that they're gonna walk in and kick the living dog shit out of every other legal legends team. But that's what's happening, man. That's what's happening when you when you go out and pick up ex SKT members and you and you give people confidence by being, you know nice and a good leader and friendly and you have leadership skills and you're a good coach and also leadership skills and you have a management system and probably Rick Fox's leadership plays a big role in that. I don't know man, it's just like a charismatic, gigantic, uh, world championship winning basketball player can probably inspire some people to do some really good stuff. So it's good to see Echo Fox doing so well. It's astounding to see TSM do so bad and it's alarming to see that Team Liquid has once again landed in fourth place. The Dota 2 scene is, uh, is being quote unquote rocked uh, by two of the analysts stepping down due to a lack of financial uh, backing, due to security. They don't have any financial security. They don't have any, uh, they know that, they, that their time, either their time is limited or their, the money's limited. Uh, and that's a terrible thing to see in, a, in an eSport where the teams make the most money in their, in their tournaments out of any eSport in the world. Dota 2 teams have the largest prize pools. It just seems like no one working in the staff is going to get any of that. It doesn't seem like anyone who's putting on these productions is making jack shit. Well, someone is, but it ain't the analysts. Uh, and that's terrible. These guys have been in the scene since, since way back in the way back, and they're not going to get anything, and they're going to quit and go be business analysts or some boring shit like that. And that's not good for the scene. It's not good for the esports scene. So I hope that, you know, Steam takes a, a hard look in the mirror, and, and it will probably do nothing. Uh, because Steam doesn't do shit and they don't care. But, you know, it's worth hoping for, I guess, if you're into hopes and dreams. You can fill up your hands with hope and shit and see which one fills up first. Uh, and finally, our Rocket League news. Someone asked me for Rocket League news, so I'm here to deliver it. Rocket League still exists. It's still a good game. It's still fun to play. The Rocket League Championship Series is awesome. However, it's in the fall. We're in the spring. And with the way time works, it's a linear path. We're still going to have to wait until the fall for Rocket League Championship Series. In the meantime, go online, have some fun. They're still putting out DLC, and it's still a good game. That's your Week in Esports, and I'm Lubu, and I'll see you next week. If you like Week in Esports, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you'd love to have you with us as part of our family, and we're going to let you sleep with our brother. But in the meantime, at least you'll know when Week in Esports is coming out every week, which is much more important because my brother's engaged, and he doesn't want to have sex with you.